these are our first design practice and these are our seven days drive design crash course and we're going to be designing this burger flyer so this probably want to put it on maybe facebook ads or instagram ads so the first thing is to open your pixel lab so if you want to design the first thing you must do is to you know the size of uh, the size when you know, once you know what exactly what you want to do want to design and you know the you the next thing is to know the size of the thing so if you are using something for social media maybe instagram facebook whatever the the fourth size is one zero eight zero by one zero eight zero so i believe by now you are familiar with the interface of this uh, from the uh, interface of this pixel uh, from the introductory video i sent to you so if you want to change the size of your design you use this place so that's it come to this place click on image size then change your size to 1080 1080 so click on ok that means you have the size already so the first thing you need to do is you know all these things you are seeing in this design mostly they are just resources imported in so the only thing we have here that is not part of it okay that we we got from pixel lab is the 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 design below so let's start by creating a circle go to this plus icon click on shapes so change the shape to circle you can increase the size increase the size very well so we're going to be bringing it down so you still need to increase the size so just try to get the balance in that design so this is cool i think this is cool so the next thing is to change the color of this shape the next thing is to change the color of this shape so don't forget this place this place is where you can work with your shapes and pictures so once you want to work with your, with your pictures or shapes you have to click on it so we are looking for color so let's choose color so the first color we want to use is this yellow so let me quickly explain the we have what we call color code for example if you don't have this color or you, you don't want to start looking for this color just click on this plus icon click on this um, let me show you click on this so once you click on this one this is the color code we are using so we have different type of color code we have X we have uh, RGB. This is the RGB, the red, green, the green, the blue. But for to make it uh, very easier for you, just copy this code to put in your own design. Just make sure you write it down. The first color code is FFE. F F E eight one E so that's the first color code you already know the process if you don't have this color code okay let's say okay let me copy this thing now let's assume my color is this and i want to put this yellow so i can just click on this plus click on this clean this one and put your ffe whatever so automatically it will change to that yellow
F F E. Okay, mark here. You can see. So once you mark it to change to yellow, then click on OK and click on OK. Automatically, your color is there. So that's the first color we are going to be using. So the next thing to do is make sure you centralize this design. So bring the this thing up a little bit. All right. The next thing to do is to copy this particular shape copy it bring it to front so the next thing is to change the color to another shade of yellow so we are using this yellow shade in this one so if you want to get the color code make sure you write the color code before you so that you'll be able to put it the second color code is f fc six one a so that's it you already know the process of changing the color code so click on ok ok so we want to bring this one down a little bit so i think that's it so centralize it so don't forget when you are trying to this design you are putting this shape this shape we call them okay they are elements so if you want to check your design elements you can come here so the best practice to to these designs when you are done with an element come to this place and lock it so that when you are moving around when you are moving your hand around you will not be able to mistakenly you will be you know mistakenly click on it so for example if you try to drag this now you cannot drag it but if you unlock it you'll be able to drag it's like this so that's the the uh, the idea behind locking your element so once you are done with an element make sure you lock it so the next thing to do is to import a burger picture click on this plus then from gallery let's locate our burger so i will be sending all these uh, resources to you so that you'll be able to use it for by yourself so let's look for okay this is okay in, input the burger so this is our burger picture increase the size so increase the size very well so bring it down okay i think the size is too big all right bring it down let it sit on that design so the next thing is to centralize it so don't forget once you are done with your elements click on this place and lock it so that's the best practice so i forget something we are we do not change the background color so let's click on this place so if you have watched the introduction uh, introduction to pixel live you already know where, where all these stuff i'm showing you so i don't need to go back this is where you change the background these two shape uh, two square so click on the color so the color i use for background is this that's the color i used yes Yes, that's the color I used. So if you are trying to change this color to get the code, this is the code. So make sure you write it out so that you'll be able to put it. Zero zero one four four nine. So once you put any color, it will change automatically to the RGB color as well. So let's say for example now I clean this for this nine and i put six so it's another color entirely if you click on ok now you'll see so that's it so we are using this color as our background so the next thing to do is to bring this this flash light you are seeing at the back of your burger 
so it's part of the design element click on plus icon from gallery so once i send the the resources to you you know where to find it in your gallery so this is what i'm importing next click on it all right so increase it a little bit so that's that so you can see it's showing it's showing on top of all this our own design so the next thing to do is go to where your elements are and just drag it under all of them drag it under all of them so that's it just like that so don't forget lock so let's just import all our design elements so that we'll be able to focus on the text and the other part of it so another one we are importing this this uh, social media love this thing so this is it put it there increase the size a little bit so that's that so you just have to follow the steps one by one you don't need to rush yourself you don't need to so just follow the steps gradually okay all right so remember lock so the next thing we want to import is this xsx at the top of the page again import from gallery so when i send the resources you will know where to find them in your gallery so this is it all right increase the size if you want to if you don't want to you can leave it like that so you can see this one the color is white so what you need to do is come to this color side click on it and look for white so that's it so don't forget lock so always lock the elements you are done with because if you don't lock it your hand might mistakenly touch it and you know it will scatter the way your design looks so the next thing is this um, other elements this one yes okay okay so this one is white already increase the size increase the size all right so that's it the next thing is to, to do is just go to your elements and lock it so what next there is one design that is still remaining this place that we write 20 percent uh, discount the, the next thing to import is this our discount 20 percent discount from gallery so you already know the drill so this is it click on ok so the the fun part of design is that you don't have to redesign all these stuffs once you have them handy you can just be importing them instead of you start to design everything now so i i noticed this our uh, burger is a little bit up so you can unlock it click on it okay let me lock this one first lock so that's that 
so i want to drag this burger to this side a little bit okay i think it's good now all right yes so that's that don't forget to lock it back so i think we are done with our arrangement all the elements are correctly placed so the next thing to do is to start typing our text so you know how to type bring your text already click on these blocks click on text so the next the first thing we were going to type is this fresh and tasty and uh, tasty all right okay so don't forget every element in design in this pixel lab have their own way of editing them if you want to edit your text you have to click on this a so if you watch correctly the introduction to pixel lab you already know how to do all this so click on a we want to change the font type that's our typography click on font we want to look for okay let's use let's use um which font are we going to use let's try this uh allura regular let's see how it looks so i'm going to be sending you fonts later but for this project let's just use our own font that we have in the in the pixel lab so fresh and tasty don't forget this is where you can increase the size let's leave it at 70 so you already have the color we are using so once you add a color from the way i showed you so the colors will be showing in your color palette here so let's use this yellow position it to the middle don't forget so the next thing we need to do so you don't have to put any other text by yourself just copy this one you already have so burger burger so i think this burger is a little bit bigger so our burger is white so it's still bigger than the normal size let's leave it at maybe 150 okay 160 160 is okay so okay so there is something i did in this burger stuff so i copy it I deleted this leave only the B come to this one delete the B so that's that all right increase the size of this B and you can rotate it a little bit so as I put it here So you can see, let's rotate it a little bit so you can bring your other burger here. So you already see the drill. So that's that. The next thing to do is to copy this fresh and tasty plus, sorry, copy it. limited offer
so in this limited of i want to this is i want to put a lot a little bit of contrast in this limited of i don't want to use the normal way we use it because this kind of like selling points this is what we sell the the product we are trying to sell so those are the things you need to be thinking of when you are doing design so i'm going to change the fonts i want to lay more emphasis on it i'm going to change the font to something like this okay okay let's use roboto uh roboto okay let's make it bold or uh, we can make it all caps all right the size we can reduce it a little let's use 60 so just make sure you try almost everything in your design don't just do it the way you see it these are the things you can change so the reason i'm putting emphasis on this is that this is the selling point it's telling you that this burger you are seeing is limited is not the this is not for everybody is limited to set of people that maybe take action quickly so let me see if i can use red red is not good so i can still use okay let me show you another trick i want to put emphasis let's use shape let's use shape okay mm -hmm. Just you just have to be you just have to be more creative when you are designing. That's the 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 fun part of graphic design. So So this is what I want to do. Let me give this red. I'm going to put this on top. So showing below. Drag it up. Bring this under it. So you see. So I would now like to change this color to white. All right. So you can see another look entirely so that's how to be creative when you are doing design so let's reduce this size a little bit i think we should use a font that is more broader than this so this is okay all right good so you can see limited over of a very bold there so don't forget the rules i say don't use more than two two fonts in your design so and we're going to be sticking with this and the other design so the next thing to do is to create this your offer order now so how to create it is go to your shape reduce this size okay order now let's bring it here so how we achieve the the cuff the round is this radius Let's use it like 15. 
fifteen percent. Okay, we can see the covenant. Okay, let's leave it at twenty five percent. Click on OK. You can see this is it. So. So you can see it there. So give it color. We use the color we use for background. So you can see a little bit of shadow. This is where to put it. So shadow. Click on OK. So that's it. Just like that. So we want to copy this limited offer sorry I want to copy this limited offer so order now order now so reduce the size Let's use 30 so that it's perfect so you can recopy this bring it down we're going to be putting www.burger.com So we're going to change the color to black. Reduce the size a little bit. Let's use 25. All right, that's it. So the next thing is this call for delivery. Copy this. So you don't have to be typing text all the time. Just be copying the one to maintain the size in your design call for delivery okay so if you are trying to align stuff there is a way of doing it this place you are seeing so Alignment is very very important in designing so you can click on it so click on this if you want to edit your line click on this so you can drag the line so I want my to align with this order now so and go there click on your design move it so you can see everywhere is good so now i want to align this to be in line with this so feel free to all right Let me copy this again. Copy. So I want to put my number here. You can put your own number there too. Zero nine zero six nine three two nine three two four five zero seven. You can just type it together if you like. So it's just kind of design. So. I'll increase this font because this is very very important so don't forget hierarchy in your design very very important okay let's use 40 I have the feeling that this shade of black is not really dark the way it's supposed to be 
so you can always come to this place let's drag it to this place all right you can see the difference yes the difference is clear so let's do this all right that's just it you can see so in oh sorry call to order we did not change it call to order oh sorry call for delivery for delivery so that's that all right you can see so everywhere is set everywhere is aligned so the next thing to do is you can get rid of this put our 20 percent discount and let's save our design so this one is white so the color is white so you want to type discount discount So let's use the size as 25 is cool. Copy. Twenty percent. So that's that. Okay, the size. Okay, let's use this size. Let's use sixty. So the next thing is to make sure it aligns with this. So that's that. I think we've done. We are done with our design. So that's that. Everywhere is set. Everything is there like that. So I just remember something in this our order now. If you check the original design, it's kind of like two colors so how we achieve this is you click on the shape go to color okay color we want to use gradients and i use this so how i achieve this is click on plus so the first one here i want to use the color of the background so click on it click on this bucket and click on this something like pencil this so once you click on it click on this the background if you want to choose other color you can just so we are using this background so click anywhere and click ok for the other side ok for the other side click the other side as well this place click the bucket the same process so we are using this as the color so click on anywhere the color is mark click ok click ok so that's how we achieve that so that's that on that so you can see this is our design this is our burger 
advert design so everywhere is cool everywhere is set all right i noticed something all these limited okay let's just leave it like that all right so our design is cool so the next thing is to click on this save to save our design so click on save the first thing is to save as project give your project name so that you'll be able to access it next time burger promotion burger promotion flyer Let's click on save saving done so the next thing to do is save as picture save as image make sure you always come here custom use ultra and if you like you can use png if you like you can use jpeg so save to gallery so i noticed my phone have not been saving ultra but in your case if you are going to save use the ultra so i'm going to use the default for myself but when you are saving use ultra so when you save you will notice that it will tell you saved saving image so that's it saved so you can close your design and check your gallery you will see your design there so let me look for my design so you can see it so this is our burger design so that's that on that